Kowalski in the red. A date with Gable Steveson on the line. Paris had a crazy one in his semi against Wyatt Hendrickson. Had to come back. Nice high single leg for Nick Wazdowski. He's bringing Paris towards the edge. Oh, wow. One red. One red. Good job there from Paris to avoid giving up any more than just one. He almost was able to get into a scoring yeah. position, but Quiz was savvy enough to take him out. Man, same shot. And Mason Paris trying to defend, able to square up this time. Quiz so good at getting to that leg. Always been so impressed with Quiz's ability to finish as well. These two have wrestled, I believe, four times in the past. Quiz holds the three to one series lead. The last wrestled at the 2021. Sweep single, and now right into it again is Mason Paris trying to pull in that single leg. He's in deep, but threatening with a chest wrap is Nick Gwizdowski, and he used the chest wrap to take him off the leg. Now Gwizdowski on the shot, Ooh. they square up, no points. Wow. Great exchange there, they both gotta take a, yeah. Like, let's take a breath here, and now Mason Paris gonna get one for passivity. Hey, we, we worked pretty hard in that flurry. Yeah, uh, just take like four seconds. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like the takedown was, was imminent there for Mason Paris, but Quiz did a great job holding that chest wrap and able to get his hips out. Quiz has to be really powerful from that position mm -hmm. to be sitting on his butt there. Right. Not really able to, you know, get much leverage. And Mason had to let go of the leg or he probably would have went through. Minute five to go, just a one-o lead for Nick Wazdowski. He's been a mainstay of 125. Been towards the top for Team USA for a while. Made several teams, brought home some world medals in this past. But now standing in his way is Mason Paris, and then whoever wins, Gable Steveson. All these athletes are vying for a spot on the senior world team. The world championships in Belgrade, Serbia in September. Collar and wrist, and faking that sweep is Mason Paris. For Mason, his go-to attacks are his elbow control, works that fireman's carry or left-handed single leg. Mason won the Hodge Trophy this year, award to the nation's most dominant college wrestler. He won the 285-pound weight at NCAAs, and now we'll go to the break 1-0. Yeah, we saw Gwiz have success there in the first period, kind of timing that lead leg, uh, the left leg of Mason Paris with that snatch single. And Paris was really close to scoring on really his only, only leg attack of the period. We'll see what kind of adjustments, if any, wrestlers make as we get ready to start the second period. There's that swing single. In deep, now great position getting to standing here, but pulling that ankle is Gwizdowski. Mason's in a good position to finish yeah. here. Can he do it? But look at Mason, keep, or excuse me, Gwizdowski keeping that ankle and pulling it out. Two offered by the judge and can, well, there's the two. Yep, it is confirmed. So Paris taking the lead, but wrestling back in. Potential reversal situation for Gwizdowski. Oh, Cradle. Oh, near side Cradle's locked up. Can he use it? And that's one on the reversal awarded, so it's 2-2. Two, two. Can Mason fight this off? Is Gwizdowski going to try to take him around? No. Wow. So <laughs> that was a dangerous position for Mason Paris. Yeah. But through all of that, Mason holds the criteria lead two to two. One two point score to 
the two one point scores for Gwiz. So the one went up for Gwiz because it was only a reversal, not a takedown, because it was initiated off of Paris's two. And they didn't come back up to their feet before he got on top of that cradle. Gwiz slaps at that same leg. Times it well in deep, but this time Mason able to get his legs back. Now he's running to the other side, spin around defense by Nick Wazdowski, who pulls the near ankle, double ankles now. Now hopping over, and Mason in a better position now to finish, and that looked like Mason's exposure, yeah. and it was two for Mason Paris, makes it four two. Oh, he wanted the fall. He asked for the fall. Wow. This is why. I don't understand the fall thing with the chair having to confirm because he's in the best position. <laughs> he can absolutely see, and I'm, I'm yeah. sitting the same angle as the chairman. Chair's There's blocked. no way to even know if right. he was pinned. So you could have a pin, and your your view's obscured. But anyway. A minute to go here. Mason Paris up 4-2, to two, and Gwiz needs more than just a two-point score. But in freestyle wrestling, the fall has to be confirmed by the Matt chairman. Mm -hmm. Smaller tie for Mason Paris. Two for Gwiz won't get it done here because it's a pair of twos for Mason. So 33 seconds to go. Stutter fake from Gwizdowski. 25 seconds to go. He's in deep on a single leg. Mason trying to get his leg back and does. Squeeze and oh, peek out attempt for Gwizdowski, oh, and he's gonna wow. come on top. Mason Paris adds to his lead 6 2, and that could do that it, John. Might do it. And when was the last time we haven't seen Nick Gwizdowski in Final X or well, the finals of the World Team Trials or Olympic Trials? I can't, I can't recall. Maybe 2015? Yeah. 16? 14, Six. maybe? And that'll do it. Mason Paris. A 6-2 winner wow. over Nick Wazdowski. Great second peri period for Mason Paris. And that's going to do it. We're done, John. Great. It doesn't feel right that a, a tournament would only take this long. No, but. man. But great set of finals, great tournament. And this only sets up what should be just an amazing Incredible final X. Incredible final X. Mm -hmm. June 10th. Prudential Center gets started at 2 Eastern, I believe. Yep. If you can't go, please watch. Join us live on Flow Wrestling. We'll have all three styles, men's freestyle, women's freestyle, and Greco-Roman. We'll leave you with a shot of Mason Paris, Bill Zadick, and two cute kids. There you go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.